My name is Omar. Cheek, last name. Are we on or not? Yeah, we're on. <laughs> Hello? Oui, ça va? Tu veux te réveiller? Je suis à l'université. Bahan, ou un documentaire sur moi. <laughs> sur ma vie. <laughs> uh, I am 34 years old uh, from a country called Djibouti, which is located in east of Africa. Very small country. Population is around 800,000 people. And uh, I'm very proud to be actually from that country. So what happened to me is every day when I come in the Lixton station, there's usually, I don't know what they call it, but there's a spot on the side where there's usually two cops and a table and they pretty much start looking for stuff. You know, either your backpack, something is funky, you know, something's going on with you, you don't, you know that, you don't fit that perfect profile like we say. So, uh, I just, you know, every day, I'm being stopped. You know, called upon, the guy goes like, so, couldn't do anything about it, just put my backpack in, he looks for it real quick, and they just, he goes like, you can go. And that happened every single day, you know. Someone else would probably be upset with it, but me, can he do you know so every morning is the same thing I walk in and I just I literally just look at him it's always the same thing so it ended up being a daily thing I tried to I tried sometimes to go with a very light backpack I try sometimes to go with a empty backpack it's always the same thing as if and I'm not saying that I'm the only one actually going through the stairs at the Lexington Avenue. No, <laughs> there's, it's a very busy station, you know? And I'm talking about literally 20 people walking at the same time, but I'm the one who's actually being single-handedly picked on, you know? And again, uh, it's always the same person that's there on duty because it's around the same time every morning. I'm not gonna, I have nothing against him. Some people may believe that he have something against me. He have a grudge against me. I don't know the person, but it's always the same thing. The only thing I remember was searching my backpack and then I went on my way. You know, as to if I can sue him, I can report him. It only will do damage to me. He's a cop. So that's pretty much, stuff like that shouldn't even upset you, you know? It's part of your daily life. <laughs> I just wish that people would actually go to the other side, you know, not judge us by the media, not to look us by the media, but actually go to the other side, visit those people that you call them terrorists. Try to be in a Muslim shoe for a minute or two.